The UEFA Champions League semi-final draw happened today. If only we had two former Champions League winners to share their perspective. Oh wait, we do. Take a look here. Do you like this plus joined by Mikel Solskjaer? Okay, so you were talking about Bayern Munich there, a team that are definitely a contender after what uh, was a shock first leg, and then the second leg, they had Robin out, Ribéry out, Schweinsteiger on the bench, but they still managed to pull it out, right? Especially having a look to the first game, it was like, okay, every, everybody talking about the big surprise that with Porto maybe knocking out, uh, you know, the main the main favourites by the Munich. Finally, this morning they showed that they got a great depth, you know, on the squad. They've been able to score six goals against Porto in a, in a quarterfinals. That's yeah. that's not easy to do yeah. uh, against a great Porto, by the way. They've been doing really well. Yeah. So Barcelona through as well um, and getting better, yes. you know, in this end of uh, the season. Uh, and obviously tomorrow is going to be another story. You know, we got two games uh, really tight. Juventus uh, only one nil uh, yeah. against Monaco. I know they can handle the pressure, you know, yeah. and still favourites to to get through. And and they're going to be a tough contenders if, if they get through for semi-finals and then the, the big one is obviously for me yeah, Real Madrid, right. Atletico Madrid, the derby. Uh, it's not easy because you know we couldn't we couldn't beat uh, them so far in in seven games yeah. you know it's it used to be the other way around we used to be then easy in my yeah, time so it's very <laughs> it's very difficult to take as a fan as a Real Madrid fan yeah. but you know uh, I hope uh, it happens uh, well, the same that uh, happened the last year, you know, the real game, the last game, you know, we beat them in the, yeah. in the Champions League final. And this is the last game of the season that we can play against then. So it's going to be tight, it's going to be a very difficult game with a lot of missing plays as well, yes. important for us. Bale, Bale out, right, Gareth Bale's out, Marcelo's out, there's a, there's a bunch of players out for Real Madrid. Benzema and, and obviously Modric, and Modric, Modric is a big one because uh, I think the, the game is going to be played in the midfield areas. And in there they set the trap. And uh, obviously, Cruz is, is more comfortable playing with um, with Modric alongside him. You know, he even he even see you know freedom to play in there. He provides more uh, balance to the team. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and obviously, we're going to miss him a lot against this Atletico Madrid with a lot of bodies behind the ball. Yeah, and what what I like to call it on our TYT Sports Show is Diego Simeone is somewhat Carlo Ancelotti's kryptonite. He just cannot seem to understand how Simeone comes to places like the Bernabeu. He packs, they pack the defence, but they're still able to hit Real Madrid on the counter-attack. Do you think that, but that's in La Liga play. In the Champions League, it's a different tempo, right? You know, it's a, it's a game that can just change the switch of a button, like the game in the Champions League final last year, Real Madrid against Atletico. Atletico had the better of them during the season, but Real Madrid still beat them in that one-off occasion. Do you think it's a different game between the La Liga and Champions League play? All of the competitions are different, but uh, we have to say that uh, they they've been you know this is you know this is they they've been able to beat us in two, in two legs as well in the Kings Cup yeah. so they they got the formula to annoy Real Madrid they really got it you know they the problem with Real Madrid is that uh, they don't have the page with the, with the players they got up front especially with Cristiano Ronaldo Bale in this yeah. case he's not going to play but the system of Real Madrid is, is not having patience he's trying to you know to make quick transitions into into Ronaldo and Bale and uh, they don't have the patience to build the football when they go a lot of bodies behind you know defending it's not easy to break through and all the pressure now is transferred to Ramadi what I mean is I think we had a great chance to beat them uh, and getting a big advantage uh, in the first leg especially in the first half yes, we had we created a lot of chances I think I saw Atletico Madrid shocked you know in, in the first half and then they survived and now with a nil-nil. Do you think that Barcelona are still the team to beat in this competition? Do you think they're still the favourites or do you think FC Bayern have taken that role? It's very difficult to say but I would say Bayern Munich are the strongest team uh, you know to beat. Uh, we did it last year. Uh, I think... Uh, you did it emphatically last yeah, year. We yeah. Su yeah, we surprised them uh, last year. I think uh, they won the league uh, too early in the season and they relaxed a little bit so when you want to yes can you know switch on and come back? You cannot do it because you are playing against a team that are, are coming with all the pressure, are really you know focused in, in, in the competition, and they couldn't. You know they were surprised, but it's not going to happen this year. I think they are they are really concentrated in this in this competition. All the players they're going to recover players you know for the next uh, semi-finals. So I still think that the, the team to beat is Bayern Munich. They go more depth in the squad even that even than Barcelona. Yeah, and that's uh, partly that comes down to Pep Guardiola, right? He brings in, he sells someone like Tony Cruz to Real Madrid, and then he brings in Javi Alonso to try and fill in yeah. that role. He's a very intelligent manager. He knows exactly what his team is capable of. 
It's the good thing with Guardiola, you know uh, what, the, what this team is all about. Yeah. As simple as that. You know, they're going to play a, a, a style of football that is very, very Guardiola. So really quick, Fernando, who is your prediction to win the Champions League this year? To win? To win. Eh, espero que sea el Real Madrid. Es eh, un gran club, gran equipo, pero tiene que pasar esta eliminatoria contra el Atlético de Madrid. Y si no es el Real Madrid, probablemente sea el Bayern de Múnich después de la exhibición de hoy. So, last question. This is something that I would love to know. Would you like to see a Barcelona Real Madrid Champions League final? Uf, sería muy bonito, muy bonito. Dos equipos españoles, eh, Real Madrid Barcelona es el gran duelo en, en España, en el fútbol europeo. Y para, yo creo que para los aficionados del Barcelona y los aficionados del Real Madrid eh, desearían mucho esta final. Bueno, muchas gracias por acompañarnos, Fernando. Ha sido un placer. Gracias.